Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to an exciting new video. As you can see, Swiss Tracks. I'm not really sure if a lot of people know about this brand. I mean, it is very popular. There's a couple very popular brands out there, uh, but Swiss Tracks is one of the most popular and there's a reason for it. I'm going to go into detail as to why I chose Swiss Tracks, why I didn't choose the other brands, and also why I didn't choose the other flooring options. I have a typical looking garage floor you know, nothing to write home about. This is the original concrete floor that was built uh, when the house was built in the 80s. There's nothing exciting about it. It's old, it looks gross, there's stains on it. There's a few chips and everything over here. So there's, no, it, it's not very pretty. Uh, and me being a car guy and me spending a lot of time in the garage, doing a nice floor is something that I've always, always wanted to do. There's a lot of options out there that you can do. Uh, but I ultimately chose Swiss Tracks. Now, I'm not going to go into other brands, uh, you know, just because I chose Swiss Tracks and I want to talk about Swiss Tracks, but uh, I want to go over the other options that a lot of people do in their garages. The first one being epoxy. Epoxy is a very, very popular garage coating. A lot of people do it. Uh, you know, they just bring in a company or they buy the really cheap Home Depot kit that they put down and it lasts, you know, two weeks and it starts chipping and it looks like crap. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of people do epoxy. It can look good, uh, but there is quite a few reasons why I did not choose epoxy. Epoxy in general, like I said, it can look really good, uh, but you're gonna have to get a very, very reputable installer uh, because epoxy to me, all, out of all the research I've done and all the examples that I've seen over the years, it 100% relies on the actual installer. So if you're getting a professional that really has years and years of experience and knows what they're doing, It'll last a long time, it'll look good, um, but it comes at a price. This is a 20 by 20 garage, so roughly 400 square feet, maybe a little here and there, a little bit more, but that's roughly what it is. Um, and to get a proper epoxy job on, in this garage uh, was going to cost around four or five grand. And you know, some might think that's worth it, but to me, that's crazy for something that is absolutely 100% permanent. Um, and that is something that I wasn't crazy about. You know, if we ever move from this house, I really don't think we plan on at least anytime soon. Uh, but if we move from this house and I did epoxy, I have to leave the floor. Um, you know, that's four or five grand that I will probably not get back. Um, yeah, maybe it'll add a little bit of value to the house, but it's really, I'm not going to get that four or five grand back. No, no question. You know, nobody's going to really see the value in that unless somebody buying the house is like me and they, you know, really appreciate, uh, you know, a nice garage floor. Um, so doing up, you know, a very expensive epoxy, you're kind of stuck with it. It's permanent. It's always going to be there. Like I said, if you move, you can't move it. With Swiss tracks, you can pick it up, bring it to your next house. <laughs> I mean, uh, the odds of your garage being the same size in the next place is is very slim. Uh, but you can always subtract. You can add to it. It's it's not very hard to do that. Um, so that is one of the huge pros that I loved about Swiss tracks. Another reason why epoxy to me was not worth it is because if it chips, you're screwed. You can get it touched up. You can bring in the installer or whoever you got it done by, the company, and they can come and try to fix it. But honestly, it's never gonna look as good as it did the first day. Um, you know, you're gonna see the chip. I mean, they may do a decent job at hiding it, but you're gonna have to keep on bringing that person back. Um, you know, I work on the garage, I jack the car up. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I do in the garage that I know for a fact the, the epoxy would chip. It would absolutely hurt my soul <laughs> uh, seeing such an expensive floor chip uh, after all that time and thought and, and money put into it. I'd be so upset. Um, you know, I put the car in jack stands and everything, and it's just, it doesn't sit well with me. I know people do work on their cars with epoxy floors and, you know, they're okay, but I just didn't feel comfortable spending that kind of money uh, on something that could chip. So insert Swiss tracks. If you damage a tile, all you do is order up a new one. They're, I think, three or four dollars per square. There you go. Done. Pop it out. Pop the new one in. Completely fixed. Don't even know that anything happened. Uh, so huge, huge pro there. Uh, if anything did happen to it, something got crushed, something got damaged, I dropped something or uh, whatever it may be. I mean, these things are crazy durable, so I don't foresee that happening. Uh, but if it, you know, in the event that something really big happened and it damaged the floor, all I got to do is just buy, a, you know, a couple tiles and pop them in and you will never be able to notice. And I could do it myself. I don't have to worry about bringing in a company. I don't have to deal with bringing in people to my house, you know, making appointments and getting it fixed and not happy with it and have them come back and fix it. It's just a pain in the butt and Swiss tracks to me. You know, all you do is, like I said, order a couple tiles that are damaged, 
pop them in, done. And last but not least, of why Swiss Trax is better than epoxy is pricing. Uh, like I said, to epoxy, you know, I got a couple quotes to do this, this floor, a 20 by 20, uh, you know, a really nice reputable company to do epoxy. And we're looking at four to five grand. That's crazy. For something that is permanent and something that can chip and get damaged, four or five grand, just, it didn't, I didn't see the value in that. Uh, this floor is way cheaper than that. Um, you know, it's still expensive. There's no question about it. For a 20 by 20 garage, this is around 2,400 bucks. But... Uh, at the time that I got Swiss Tracks, which was this past week, they were running a promotion with free shipping and 20% off. So it was under the $2,000 mark, which is really, really nice. Um, and you know, saving on shipping was really big. So again, under two grand for a floor, a 20 by 20 garage, um, is definitely much better looking, uh, <laughs> than uh, four or five grand for all the pros that switch tracks that I, you know, personally thought of myself. Uh, I thought it was well worth the investment as opposed to doing epoxy. Now, another option that a lot of people do, or some people do is polished concrete. Um, yes, it looks really cool. It's really nice. Uh, but again, it comes at a price that's crazy expensive to do. Uh, what they do, it's kind of the same process as epoxy. They come in, they have to grind everything down. Uh, they have to put a chemical down to clean everything. They end up putting like a clear or colored epoxy down, uh, which, you know, and then they do designs and everything. And it, it looks really nice. Uh, but to me, in a working garage, it's just, it doesn't make sense. Um, you know, for if it was a garage where I parked some really nice cars in and that's all I did, Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. But again, it's still ex crazy expensive. I know a lot of people that have tried the polished concrete look and it just it never turns out <laughs> the way that the pictures look. Uh, again, that really depends on the installer and how they actually do it and their reputation and everything. So that does come into play. But same thing, I thought of uh, polished concrete uh, for a split moment and I was like, no way. Again, same crazy price. Uh, and I'm just not 100% sure it would turn out the way I want it. So Swiss tracks for the win yet again. It just 100% made way more sense to do this. For the price, the durability of it, the maintenance of it, uh, it just, it, it, there's no question uh, of why you shouldn't go with Swiss tracks. One of the nice things about Swiss tracks is you can make any design you want. They have tons and tons of colors. Uh, you can do any design. It doesn't cost any more. You can do a different color for every single tile in the garage if you wanted to. Uh, that's up to you. There's no extra cost to to the colors. Um, so, you know, if that's something you want to do, go ahead, go crazy with it. But for me, I'm more of a minimalist. I'm very uh, simple when it comes to these things. You know, my motto is keep it clean, keep it simple. Uh, and that, uh, you know, I'm applying that same motto to my garage floor. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know I'm a big fan of Matt from Obsessed Garage. I've been following him for before Obsessed Garage was even a thing. I was actually following him way before he even found Swiss Track. So uh, I saw his whole process of trying out different floorings and then eventually finding Swiss Tracks uh, and doing them in multiple, multiple places. And um, it kind of 100% sold me on it. Uh, and I actually went with the same exact color scheme as him. So I did the slate gray tiles, which is going to take up most of the garage, and then a black border around it. So super clean, super sterile, nothing over the top where it's gonna really you know, hurt your eyes when you come in here. Uh, I just want a really clean looking garage and I think it's gonna suit uh, my space, my car <laughs> uh, very, very well and I'm really looking forward to putting it down. Also, before I put it down, I wanna clean out the entire garage, uh, use the leaf blower and just get all the uh, crap and stuff in the cracks out of the garage. So there's nothing underneath and I'm starting with a really clean, clean slate. So some of you are gonna bring up the question, you know, what happens if you spill oil? What happens if it gets dirty underneath? You know, what do you do? It's very simple. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people, for whatever reason, think this is a big deal, uh, but all you do is pop the tile up, wipe whatever it is that you spilled or there, you know, there's dirt or whatever, uh, and then you put the tile back in. It literally takes 10 seconds. It's not, it doesn't take any longer than just wiping it up off the floor. Also, dirt, one of the great things about this is uh, unless you dump a dump truck full of dirt in your garage, you're not gonna see it. It has channels, you know, for any water or dirt or anything like that. There's channels that go underneath the actual tile. So it's just gonna fall to the ground and you'll never be able to see it. Uh, maybe once or twice a year, I'll pull the floor out of the garage, you know, do a, a cleaning of the, of the floor. Uh, but otherwise, it, you won't be able to see it. It's gonna look clean 100% of the time. Uh, and that is definitely up my alley. So let me open up a box here, show you the color, show you what I chose, what it looks like. We can go over some of the details about the actual, you know, Swiss tracks and why it's so great. 
These are uh, these are just the edges, so they're gonna go in front of the door. I'll show you them as well, just for the sake of showing you. Like I said, these are the edges. They're gonna be going in front here, just so it has a nice transition. Uh, but as you can see right here, that's the little edge, so you can drive right up onto the Swiss tracks. Really nice stuff. We got a nice little letter. It says, welcome to the family. <laughs> In a world full of options, we wanted to take a moment to say thank you for choosing us, your Swiss Tracks family. Thanks, guys. Now let's open a black one just so you can see the other color. So this is the color palette that I chose. Like I said, this is slate gray, which is a darker gray. Uh, I found that doing anything lighter, especially with me, I live in New Jersey, we get inclement weather and we're gonna be pulling the cars in the garage, you know, sometimes when there's snow and rain and stuff. So I don't wanna do anything too light. Uh, they do have like a pearl silver and another gray, uh, but this is the darkest gray. And, um, you know, going as dark as possible in an environment like where I live is definitely wise. So if you're doing white or something, uh, it's gonna get dirty, but with the dark gray, I think it's a really, really nice option with some color, uh, but not going over the top with anything too crazy. Uh, and I think it's gonna hide the dirt really well. Uh, the black, this is called Jet Black. This is their black variant uh, tile. Now this is only going to be the border. So it's going to be going just kind of around the whole entire border of the garage. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is just to break up the gray. Um, you know, I thought about just doing all gray, but I wanted to keep it uh, clean and I also wanted to add a little bit to it. Uh, a lot, some people do checkered, they do black gray, black gray, black gray, uh, but that's not my thing. I think it's a little too distracting. So, um, you know, I'm gonna keep it simple as I said. So some of the questions that people may have, you know, I have a really crappy looking floor uh, and if I put Swiss tracks on it, am I gonna be able to see it? Uh, well, I'm gonna show you exactly as a perfect example. Here's some cracking and holes that have formed over the years from using the garage over and over, you know, not just for me, from previous owners as well. Uh, but if we take a tile, put it over, bam, can't even see it. Especially when you're looking over it, you can't even see it. Mainly because of the shadows and just, you know, it hides it very, very well. Um, so you really don't need a nice floor underneath. <laughs> um, it hides all the imperfections, it hides all the ugly paint and cracking and, and staining everything that happens over the years. Uh, so it does a really good job at transforming your garage instantly. Uh, plus it's gonna look awesome <laughs> with the car on it. It's gonna look like a showroom, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, here, let me get, uh, throw one of the blacks down just so you guys get an idea. Looks really good. Oh man, I am so psyched to get this down, uh, especially seeing it with the car right here. I'm getting really excited. Uh, so like I said, I'm gonna pick this video back up tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna be pulling all the random stuff out of the garage you know, all the, you know, ladders and stuff. And I'm gonna be cleaning the garage out completely. Uh, and now that I have my car ceramic coated and completely done with the detail, I can bring it outside, let it sit outside for a few hours uh, while I'm doing the floor. Uh, but the really nice thing about it also with Swiss tracks and compared to epoxy or something like that is you'll have this done in like an hour or two, as opposed to an epoxy, you know, flooring or doing a polished concrete. Uh, you're looking at like five, six, seven days of not being able to even step into the garage. My garage is gonna be transformed in an hour or two as opposed to waiting and waiting and having to leave the car outside for basically a week. Uh, that's, you know, that didn't sit well with me. So another huge pro to Swiss tracks. I'm gonna pick this video up tomorrow when I get a chance to clean everything out. guys so this is what we're looking at before i got a chance to clean up the floor and uh, kind of get it ready um took the car out for the first time in a while but this is what the floor looks like i mean you know they're staining and stuff just from over the years uh, but overall 
Uh, it's not in bad shape in terms of the actual you know, concrete. There's a few little cracks here and there, but nothing crazy. I've seen some pretty terrible garages with some crazy cracks in the concrete that you would have to get fixed prior to doing this. Actually for like a 30, 35 year old house, 35 year old concrete, um, it's in actually pretty good shape. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually start in the front. I'm gonna get the trim lined up, the black trim uh, with the door, uh, the rails over there. Uh, so it's nice and unison. I'm gonna start in the front of the garage and work my way back. Uh, that is what Matt from Obsessed Garage kind of recommended. That way you can get everything set uh, and then kind of work your way back. Um, you know, with everything over here, the, the freezer, the fridge, and all my, my toolbox and stuff, uh, I'm going to move that as I work because uh, there's really no need to take it out now uh, because one of the nice things about Swiss tracks again is you can move things directly onto the actual product as opposed to waiting and having everything out of the garage for an extended period of time. Um, so I'm going to do probably the first half, move everything over here onto that side, uh, and then kind of work on the back. I'm only going to have to do a few cuts, I think. Um, there is this bump out here for the duct work of the house. Uh, and then there's a little bump out right here, uh, which is not too big of a deal. But otherwise, the garage is pretty, uh, pretty even and square. Uh, but yeah, this is what we're looking at. So let me get you an outside shot so you can get an idea, just the full grand scheme of it. So this is what the garage looks like prior. Nothing too fancy, but you get the idea. So let's get started. Like I said, I'm gonna start in the front, get it knocked out and kind of work my way back. Was a garage getting pretty cold but <laughs> half done uh obviously still got the back half of the garage to do but it's going very quickly this took me probably about 20 25 minutes to get this you know amount done uh what's going to take the longest is just making the cuts along the sides and everything but otherwise super simple i'm so satisfied i mean look how clean this looks look how ugly that looks such a huge difference man as i was filming that last shot i realized i completely messed up the the pattern or the outline already <laughs> So basically I'm gonna have a black line here. A black line's supposed to go in that second row. So I'm gonna, <laughs> can't believe it. Yeah, that one shouldn't be there. Should it be there and should go straight across on the second second row tiles. <laughs> I guess I just got ahead of myself and I was getting too excited. So let me pop them out and fix them real quick. I can't believe I didn't catch that. So the first part of this uh, video obviously is me screwing up, <laughs> but uh, I could easily take this out of the video, but I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, so let me pop this uh, second row out, put some black down, and then we'll continue on. All right, so <laughs> fixed. So now I got the black border going right here, kicks back around. Um, you know, that took probably about 10 minutes. Uh, I literally just popped it up. It comes in, you know, everything stays together, so you can take it out in giant sheets. Uh, and all I did was slid it back and just added that black row, and we're back in business. I was just too excited, I guess, and uh, trying to get everything done, but 
Uh, turned out really awesome. I'm happy I caught that now instead of after I got all this half section because you know it gets heavy when you're pulling it back and forth. So I got it at the right time. All right, now we got that fixed up. So let's uh, continue on and finish this up. making some great progress. Uh, I haven't filmed in a while just because I was in the zone, uh, but we got all the edges. Perfect, perfect. I can't, I'm actually impressed with myself. Uh, over here, same thing. Edges look great. Um, I just gotta do this little section. Come over here, same, that little section over there. Uh, and then this little corner in the back, which is not really a big deal because I'll never see it, but I still have to do it. Edges look great. This was challenging because the actual foundation here kind of bows out. Um, so I had to get crazy here, but I did the best I could. Turned out pretty good, but you know, there's a little gap right here, but still that's gonna be hitting. I can be able to see it. Uh, and then I'll, I'm working on this section right back here. So almost done, tiring. It's looking great. I'm really happy with the result. Uh, it's totally transforming this garage. I can't wait to get everything back in place. So, all right, let me knock this out and then I'll show you the final result. All right, guys, we are done. Turned out so awesome. Looks super clean. Uh, I still have to do two more cuts. Just in these corners right here. I ran out of steam uh, and it's kind of a, I don't know, my mind wasn't working right. So I just have to do those. But everything else is complete. And man, so happy with how this turned out. This is absolutely epic. Uh, I'll get you more shots in a little bit. I just uh, got to go eat something. I am absolutely dead, <laughs> but it really turned out beautiful. It really is, uh... oh man, so happy with it. Uh, I'm actually probably gonna rebuild these stairs. I have enough Swiss tracks left that I'm probably gonna build some stairs and use some Swiss tracks as well. So it'll be like a nice little transition, but that'll be another day. But for now, uh, man, looks so, so good. So clean, all the cuts, I I'm, I'm, can't believe uh, how well all the cuts came out on the edges and everything. Uh, but now it just, you know, kind of makes the walls and everything stand out even more. <laughs> uh, but man, looks so good. Here's more of a outside shot. So good. So I still have some scraps left as well as, I think I have about 10 tiles left. Uh, so I definitely have some, some uh, room for extra projects. I might put some in my cabinet and everything, so I don't know. Uh, but I ended up doing, it's literally wall to wall. Um, it's under everything, you know, I didn't take any shortcuts. So uh, I kind of ran out of steam filming and everything because my kids were out here, as you guys saw. Uh, and I was, you know, keeping an eye on them and uh, trying to get all these cuts done and trying to get the floor finished. So yeah, guys, I will uh, catch back up with you in a little bit after I get something to eat, spend some time with the family because I've been out here for a couple hours. Um, so yeah, all right, I'll catch you in a little bit. Uh, but I just came back out here after dinner, you know, cleaning things up and, uh, you know, just, just finishing the job. And man, 
it is crazy how nice this garage feels just with the floor it's insane how you know such a small difference a small detail uh, can really change this space uh, but like i said the floor uh, really makes you uh, kind of stare at the wall and realize wow it really needs to get done uh, so that is next on my agenda for the garage mods uh, i'm going to be completely sheetrocking uh, you know, painting, making it really nice, doing the ceiling really nice, getting some better lighting. Uh, these lights are great. Uh, these are just from Amazon. These are like 80 bucks for all of them. Um, I have them linked below if you guys are interested. They work um, very well. Uh, you know, you can tell it's pretty pretty well lit in here, uh, but I want some legit lighting in here and I uh, just kind of want to go all out and make it as nice as I possibly can. Um, you know, there's some stuff over here that I want to get rid of, like this toolbox, um, the freezer, we're actually going to get a stand-up one, uh, so it's much more compact and, you know, kind of out of the way, uh, and the shoes and stuff and this tiny little fridge, I had that thing in college, um, we're gonna do something about that, but, you know, for, for what it is, um, this is such a great space. I can't even express my uh, my feelings about having this floor in the garage now. Uh, I, I don't think you guys realize how long I've been wanting to do this. You know, it just wasn't in the cards to be able to do it, uh, you know, any other time. But uh, thankfully, I'm, I'm in a position uh, to be able to do it. And like I said, I couldn't I couldn't have done this without you guys. Um, There's the support and just watching the videos and just building the community that we have. Um, it really, truly has helped, uh, you know, make this actually possible. Uh, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Um, you know, keep on liking the videos, keep on watching, and we'll, we will continue to do more and more to this garage, to this car, hopefully other cars in the future, you know, along with this one. I really don't want to sell this, um, and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. So some quick notes as you guys kind of saw me progress through, you know, the whole entire garage. I really didn't film much on the back end over here. Uh, mainly because, like I said, I was just kind of in the zone, getting things done, doing all the cuts and everything. Um, so I really didn't get too much footage on that. Uh, but you guys saw me uh, up front here and work my way back. Um, a couple quick tips that I wanted to mention if anybody's interested in doing this. Uh, a good thing to do is do exactly what I did. Start from the front, then work your way back. So you want to get the majority of the surface area covered just you know, using the full tiles. You know, Get your pattern out that you want to put out. Uh, and, um, you know, and then, and then kind of work from there because on the sides here, you'll realize you're going to have to make, make a lot of cuts. If your garage is perfectly symmetrical, um, and you know, you don't have to make that many cuts, that's great. Uh, and also if you do a single color, it would be a lot easier, uh, because you wouldn't have to line up any patterns or anything and make it look even, uh, you can just literally lay it all down as, you know, start from one wall and go to the other and make minimal cuts. Uh, but like I said, if you do a pattern, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult and you're going to have to do. Uh, a little bit more work just in terms of the cuts. I'm really, really happy with the border. It's not too much. Add some contrast, a little bit of definition. Um, you know, it's nothing too out there or too crazy. I think it makes a really nice, you know, contrast and design in here without going overboard. Uh, some people do the checkers, you know, you know, every other color. Uh, some people, you know, kind of outline the, the parking spots, but you know, that's just not my thing. Doing checkered is, uh, I don't know. It can look nice, but it's just not my bag. It's not my, uh, it's not really anything that I like. I just like it clean and simple. It's kind of the cherry on top that I just finished the car last night, uh, but having the car sit on the Swiss tracks here is just kind of uh, the ultimate reward after all this work. Um, you know, just seeing a nice, super clean, protected, ceramic coated car, just sitting here ready to go out for a drive and, uh, you know, enjoy myself and uh, really looking forward to that. So hopefully I get to take this thing out soon. Um, as you guys saw, I took it out in the driveway today. I let it run for a little bit, just kind of, uh, you know, warm some things up and, um, you know, just get the juices flowing and all that. Uh, it sounds really good. It was the first time I really saw the wheels outside and, and especially the car being finished. And uh, man, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, I am like blown away with how good this car looks. Uh, if you guys thought it looked good before in videos and pictures, um, it's, it's ridiculous in person. And I'm not just saying that cause it's my car and you know, all the work that I've done, it honestly is, uh, it blew me away seeing it in the sun. It's pretty insane. I'll throw some pictures for you guys at the end of this video. If you guys are interested in getting this Swiss tracks, do me a favor and hit up Kyle. I will leave his uh, email below. Tell him I sent you. He will hook you up. I promise. Uh, he was amazing to me. Um, and he really, really kind of made this dream come true as well. He got it to me in uh, three days. I ordered it earlier in the week and it was here uh, on Saturday. 
Uh, so it got here super quick uh, and I, he got me the exact amount that I needed. I have some leftovers, like I said, so I had more than enough to complete this garage. You know, all I did was tell him my, my pattern and, and color scheme that I wanted, you know, dimensions and everything. And um, he took care of the rest and he absolutely knocked it out of the park. So I will leave his email, his contact, and uh, you know the website and everything. I will leave that all below for you guys. So if you are interested, definitely hit him up. Tell him I sent you, and um, hopefully he can hook you up with a good deal. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again for all the support. I hope you guys stay tuned for other videos because I got a lot coming for this car, uh, and we're gonna be doing a lot of videos in this garage like we always do. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. In the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, I'll catch you in the next one.